my name is Sheree Werner and Sheree Rhymes with Marie. And um, I started a community group actually a year ago in July. Um, and it's called Fiesta, which stands for Founders, Investors, Entrepreneurs, Startups, Techies, and Austin Newcomers. And I started the group to help connect um, all of the newcomers, those coming into Austin, um, with community builders. Um, I chose to make it inclusive because a lot of the newcomers were founders, startup founders to begin with. And um, when I started the group, we meet consistently on the third Tuesday of the month. Um, and that's always 5.30 to 8.30. So folks could share that with other newcomers because chances are you're a newcomer and you're looking or connecting with other newcomers. Um, and what was the other question all along with that? Um, um. So, I mean, in regards to connecting, I think um, I am really trying to connect other folks to the community builders. And as I, um, as I meet VCs or event organizers, um, folks like that, I'm looking for ways to help connect them with the founders that I'm, I'm coming across. Um, the, the folks I'm really looking for are sponsors for our event, what started as a passion project. Um, that our company, Koya, was doing, all of a sudden has grown into um, being, uh, you know, something more that requires um, sponsorships because we provide pizza and beer and wine and, you know, we feed everybody and we don't charge. Um, I am against charging founders because I already know a lot of them are, especially early, start, um, early um, stage founders, they're struggling financially. Um, and um, so we want to do our event for free. The type of people that I'm looking for are VCs who are looking for early stage um, startups that they're wanting to um, invest in, as well as founders um, that are new to Austin and are looking for VCs um, in the Austin community, um, as well as um, service providers that would be beneficial for them in their entrepreneur journey. Um, it looks different for each one of you um, because there are these different verticals and depending on what you're working on will dictate who you need to connect with. And I really enjoy connecting um, founders to the right, what I call community builders. And if you have any questions for me, you can find me on Ible. If I'm going to talk about Fiesta, I have to, to back up and um, just tell you a little bit about myself. So I am the wife of John. I've been married for 37 years and we have three daughters. And as a family, we're highly connected. It's a core value of ours. And um, there is a 10 year gap between our oldest two daughters and our youngest. And when the youngest was going off to college, um, after choosing to be a stay-at-home mom, I was faced with, now what? And my husband had had a successful startup um, that he sold to um, Adidas and worked for them for 10 years and decided um, in, gosh, um, before my daughter, when she was going to high school, um, they wanted us to move to Germany or Portland, and that was not something that fit into our values given um, we would have to be leaving her her senior year. So anyway, he started another company called Koya, and we've been working on that together as a family, um, and we're still working on it. Koya stands for Kindness Anya, and we're a platform that helps um, folks stay meaningfully connected, and whether it's businesses with their um, um, clients or realtors with their clients. Um, that's what we're working on right now. During COVID, I mean, a lot of us found ourselves in a situation where we were um, trying, I mean, we're missing connection, especially if you're an extrovert like myself. And so I joined Lunch Club and I was meeting a lot of folks who had the same story. They had moved to Austin because they could work anywhere and they decided to make Austin the place to come to and um, when I would ask them you know why Austin a lot of them were um, 
very much about it's like the new Silicon Valley of the South and we're a startup founder. Um, it was fun in inviting them into our home and just having conversations with those individuals. Um, and when things started to open up, I decided because I kept a list of phone numbers and emails to reach out to those that were new to Austin and gather them together. So June of last year, we all met over at Easy Tiger. I think it was about 50 of us. And someone said, oh, we should do this on a regular basis. And that was all I needed to hear. I'm passionate about bringing people together. And so um, literally the very next day, I got an email of a group that was disbanding if someone didn't step up on Meetup. And I thought that was the sign I needed. So I took over that group. Um, at the time, it was like right at about 1,000 members. And I thought, well, I'll have a membership base already in place. Um, however, many of those weren't very active. But in the year since I've been doing this, um, we've grown to over 3,500. Um, on the meetup group. Um, we have a Slack group with over 500. And it just goes to show that that the, um, the value of community, I think what's really unique about our community, because it is inclusive at each event monthly, we have over 50% that are actually, it's their first time coming to a, a Fiesta event. And of those individuals, I would say 38% have been here less than six months. Um, you're up close to 50% less in a year. And I always find that kind of interesting um, that that many individuals are new to Austin. And I kind of led with the idea is, if you're new to Austin, where do you start? I mean, how do you find these community builders, the service providers that you're gonna need, um, the VCs that can help fund your venture, as well as the work spaces and event organizers and I'm a huge proponent of networking. Um, so I think what set Fiesta apart was I created a calendar and put in the calendar all of these events that would be beneficial to um, founders to go out to and, and, and just connect with one another. And you never know who you're gonna meet at any, any place that you go. So I always kind of view um, the importance of, of just showing up and being yourself and sharing what you're working on because if doors are supposed to open, they'll open up. Um, and I'm trying to think of what else we, I've really enjoyed. I mean, I just, I think the connections that I've been able to help make, um, I love doing this with my family. So it's not a, a me show, it's, it's we show up as a family and we serve this community. And now I have about 35% of, of those that are coming back regularly and they just all step up and it just goes real seamlessly. It's been a lot of fun. I would say probably some of the challenges that we had was not really having a clear vision as to why we were doing this other than bringing people together and as it continued to grow, just kind of trying to um, define the direction that we wanted to go with this. So, the, the way that I we've approached it is, okay, so we've gotten through this month, what did we do well? And what can we do better next time? With the, the core focus being on the founder themselves, because it's about helping the startup founder um, on their journey. And as I said earlier, it looks different for each founder um, because of what they're doing and the stage that they're at. And so, um, you know, I was working on Koya and then all of a sudden Fiesta has become like this full time project for me. And so I, I think the, the hardest thing has been managing my time um, in regards to, you know, keeping Fiesta um, going and, and being successful and building the community out and, and also being available to helping in regards to Koya. Um, I think the other um, part of it that has been really hard is that I'm finding myself doing things um, that I never imagined myself doing, um, like raising sponsorships and um, going out and learning new technology. Um, so I'm here to say that you're never too old to learn new things. And um, 
I, I look back and when I was about to start this, I almost disqualified myself because of those negative voices, which we all have that imposter syndrome of, of, of thinking, you know, I'm too old to do this. And, but the truth is, is I was the right person to do it. And I have had so much joy in, in, um, you know, putting on these events and being available and meeting these different founders who are doing amazing things and are going to be the next world changers. So I get to be a little part of that. So we're year in and um, I think of one company that I, I remember meeting with the, the founder, a young guy, and he was like very disappointed that he hadn't like sold a company yet. And I'm like, how old are you? And I found out he was not even 21 and I just kind of laughed. Um, but then a month and a half later, the company that he had been working on, um, he decided that he, you know, with college, because he was getting his degree, that he didn't have enough traction. And so he was going to step away from it. And I made an introduction to this other company that had moved into Austin, kind of doing something similar. And um, in the end, they bought, you know, part of his um, IP and things that he had been working on. Um, to use with their company. So that that's one success story. I, I know that some of the, um, you know, service providers that I've brought in, um, I had an IP attorney come in and say, hey, not everybody needs IP, but if you do, these are the times that you might want to talk to somebody. And in doing that, I think he ended up getting several clients and, and one, he's been able to really help a lot, which, you know, that's the whole part of, of, of doing Fiesta is helping connect um, the founders to the folks that are going to help them on, on their journey. Um, I know some of one of the things that we do at our event, cause it's very consistent. So from five 30 to about six 40, we have networking. And during that time, folks are eating pizza and just kind of talking to one another. And then we kind of go into a programming part where um, I have um, given founders the opportunity to get up in front of the audience and you know 200 people is kind of intimidating um, our last event I think we had 236 that checked in and they're able to do a one minute pitch to share their company to get their name out in front of other individuals and um, I've had several folks say that that has opened up doors where investors have come up to them afterwards and, and have connected with them even last um, month in June one of the companies that presented, um, the VC reached out and said, hey, can you share um, this information with this person who had, had given the pitch on EdTech? And so I was able to connect them. So that's happened numerous times. I'm sure there's many more um, things that have happened that I don't know about because I just don't cross the path with that person unless I'm, you know, happen to be there and say, hey, what do you think about Fiesta? And, and then they'll share some of the stories with me. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing more of those stories.